All right, so we got Mirthwood official RPG features trailer. Let's get to the video. Do you fancy yourself a hero? Fancy yourself a hero? A humble farmer. Perhaps you seek a darker path. I don't. I am the In hero. Mirthwood, I am Nick A30. Oh, I'm going right. I'm going right. Construct a backstory where every choice is double edged. We'll select a past life as a royal and a rat catcher, because we can. We're resistant to disease, if a little romantically challenged. For now, we'll look to upgrade our shoddy gear. There's a wide world bound to hide some loot. Unique locations dot the landscape, offering opportunities to uncover stories, find rare loot, and fight for survival. Atop this abandoned tower, we found a unique item. Okay. Some equipment possessed. I'm gonna be honest with you. Affecting our I would play this. Or influencing how others perceive us. I will play this. I can't lie. <laughs> Just so you can customize them like that. in town, we'll look for work. As you unravel the main story, side quests and contracts can be acquired at taverns. This is different. I like this. Or from other characters. The outcome. Can it, it, is this online or, or what? Are entirely up to you. Oh, hold on. Even they dodge in this game? Involving your close friends. We'll choose to free Benedict rather than leaving him to die. Increasing our morality and renown. Your character will level skills by performing them. Mm. Unlock powerful skill cards. Heart healthy. Oh, I'm going to have the best when character like in this game ever. I'm going to be honest. A charismatic Comedian. Helmet. Oh, Charmer? Mm -hmm. A stalwart warrior. It, or play Intimidator. Jack of all trades. Oh, I could be all of them? And don't expect to explore Mathwood alone. Oh, I'm going to be him in this game. I can't lie. I'm going to be everything. Companions, human and animal alike. Oh, so you can partner with, with uh, humans Adopt and animals. Adopt the art of falconry to gain a set of eyes in the sky. This is your land of opportunity to be beloved or despised oh i'm gonna be both or just a simple rat catcher <coughs> okay okay all right here's what i'll say about this one here's what i say about this number one I never really seen like a game with this type of style before. You know, listen, don't judge me. Law, forgive me. Listen, don't judge me, okay? Listen, but I'm gonna be honest with you. The art style isn't that bad. It's just like I never really seen it before. Um, I would probably consider this like an open world game. Um, I thought it was gonna be one of those games to where you know, this guy was was probably just gonna find his way through the story mode, whatever. I didn't really think this game was gonna be like too deep into like the whole customization. You get to be like the like the hero or like the villain. You get to like make your own decisions and like you know have like a, a bunch of different outcomes. I didn't know about that, so that definitely surprised me and caught me off guard. You know what I uh, like about that? I like that a lot of games are are now um, hopping into like the wave of like. Yeah, like open world, but like at the same time they get to like make like their own decisions. I, I like that a lot. It's not like Telltale, and first of all, I love Telltale. No disrespect to them, I absolutely love them. But it's not like Telltale to where yes, you get to like pick, you know, who lives and dies, or whatever. But it, but you know, in Telltale, you know, the uh, the outcomes are already like scripted, you know, in the game. I don't know for this right here. This might actually be a good thing because I love games that let you have the freedom to like, you know, for you to be who you want. So I'm gonna be honest with you. My perks, I'm definitely gonna have charm, 99 overall charm, uh, 99 overall intimidator. You know me. Uh, I'm probably like first time, first playthrough. I'm probably gonna be a hero because you know that's just <laughs> that's just who I am. I am a hero. Um, so yeah, charis like the, the, the charismatic stats and stuff like that, 99. I don't even have to argue with that. I, like, I'm bro, I'm making my own character. Like, come on, bro, I'm making me to be honest. So like, <laughs> it, it should be really easy, you know, designing who I am. But uh. 
art, yeah, the art style stuff like that. Uh, it, it, it's cool. I wouldn't say it's the best, like it's the best thing I've seen in my life, because it's not. But at the same time, it's not bad. Honestly, it's not bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would play this game, and I like this too. I don't know why, but like whenever like the guy or the girl, I don't know, like you know what the gender of this character is. I, is this a girl? I think it's a girl. Um, whenever they're in like a building, you get to see like over the building. So like outside, obviously you get to see like the roof of the house, whatever. But then whenever like you go inside of a building, um, you get to see like oh, let me, let me let me show you real quick. Can I not go inside the building? Like hello, where was I? Oh, right here, bro, uh, bro. Okay, hold, right here. Here I. Bro, can I not? Oh, there I am. Obviously, bro, like, can I not go inside the building? But yeah, like, like whenever like you go inside the building, the the roof is missing, whatever, and you get to see what's inside. But whenever you go, like, you go out, the roof is on there. I like that a lot. That's fire. I don't know. I don't know why I like that, but that, that that's cool. Comment down below. What do you guys think about Mirth with a Fist and RP features? Because I didn't fix them out. And.